It's time for match number 35 of the Indian T20 League. It's Hyderabad taking on Kolkata in the beautiful Abu Dhabi. And a man who knows Hyderabad and its cricketing prowess very well, Tom Moody, joins me all the way from Perth on my 11th circle, Fantasy Pick on ESPN Cricket Info. Before we get Tom Moody's views, uh, we've got a quick pro tip for you. Make a note. Expect the Hyderabad batting to come good against the low on confidence Kolkata bowling lineup. Tom, does that resonate with you? Yeah, look, I think, again, I think the Sunrisers' top order needs to show some consistency of form, but they certainly have a power pack top four. And uh, with with KKR, with their issues with Sun on the Rhine not playing, and also Andre Russell. Uh, questionable with his fitness and his bowling. Their bowling does look a little bit vulnerable, so there is an opportunity for the Sunrisers' top order to fire. Right, just a quick update on team selection. Uh, all players are available, but Sunil Narain is likely to miss another game. Also, a reminder of all the rules. Um, uh, every user on my 11th circle has 100 credits available to form the team. Each player has been assigned individual credit values, and users have to pick players from four categories, batsmen, all-rounders, Wicket keepers and bowlers with a maximum of seven players from one particular team allowed. Now in R11, we are going in with David Warner as the captain. Now he's been consistently getting 30s and 40s but has failed to make it big. He scored close to 300 runs in the tournament at a strike rate which is quite low by his standards but against an attack that has picked up only 4.5 wickets on an average in eight innings, we back Warner to get that big score in this game. We are going with Rashid Khan as our vice captain. Although he's conceded 30 runs and went wicketless in his last game, he has an economy of under six, and we believe Rashid Khan could really trouble the Kolkata batsman. He is the highest wicket taker as well for his uh, side, and expect him to continue to do well in this game as well. So, David Warner and Rashid Khan, captain, vice captain. Let's now look at our other topics. Owen Morgan, the new captain of the Kolkata side has played in the finisher role for his team and has done really well. We'll we'll have to wait and see where he bats in this lineup. That's seen a bit of a musical chair game happening. But Owen Morgan is someone you can always back in white ball cricket and we are backing him to be one of our top picks. Johnny Bairstow is part of our list as well. Now, since 2019, he's scored 50 plus on six occasions in 18 innings, which is pretty good. Now, he may have had a rough couple of games uh, and Kolkata is the ideal opponent to play against for this guy, given he averages 60 plus against them at a strike rate of 141. Kane Williamson, he has all possible shots in the book. Now he's been he's been pretty good uh, with the limited opportunities he's got so far. He's got 152 runs at a pretty good strike rate as well. Expect Kane Williamson to come good when his team is in a spot of bother. So we're going in with lots and lots of big batting names: David Warner, Owen Morgan, Johnny Bairstow, Kane Williamson, Rashid Khan, the only bowler in our top six. Tom, you happy with that? Yeah, look, there's some really good options there. World-class selection. Uh, it's hard to go past them. And, uh, you know, I think that uh, any any of those picks could should get a huge amount of points. Right. We've got a couple of differential picks as well. Remember, Nagar Koti stepped aside for Shiva Mavi, although let's just say he was replaced. Shiva Mavi came into the lineup. Uh, he's been the pick of the bowlers for uh, Kolkata. He's picked up six wickets at an economy of under nine. He can bowl in the power play and at the death and expect Shiva Mavi to win you lots of points with some wickets. Tina Trajan, uh, someone who is uh, now building a reputation as a Yorker specialist, he could play a very, very crucial role for his side. And we believe if you back him, he could win you lots of points as well. So, Shiva Mavi, Tina Trajan are the two differential picks. Now, let's give you a look at our complete 11th. Dinesh Karthik joins Johnny Bairstow as the, as the other wicket keeper. Uh, we've got five batsmen. Shubhmal Gill joins David Warner, Manish Pandey, Owen Morgan, Kane Williamson. Andre Russell, the only all-rounder, also the only player in the IPL to play with uh, two different coloured shoes. Uh, we're going with Rashid Khan, Team Trajan and Shiva Mavi as the three bowlers. But uh, if you look at our substitutes, Pat Cummins, uh, the lead bowler, the lead strike bowler of uh, Kolkata is in the substitutes alongside Rahul Tripathi, Sandeep Sharma and Prasid Krishna. Pat Cummins in the subs, Tom? Yeah, he's, he'd be definitely one I'd be looking to get into the playing 11 because as we've seen, uh, just in even in the last game, he's not only taking wickets, but he's scoring some runs. So he may be a valuable pick to consider. Are you okay with Rashid Khan being the vice captain? Yeah, look, it's an interesting one. Rashid Khan's bowled except, exceptionally well, but what we're finding is teams are 
uh, not really taking the risks against him. So his ability to take wickets is denied on a number of occasions. So you may want to consider another alternative as, as your vice captain. Yes, we do have an alternate scenario and that's a Shubman Gill is definitely a vice captain option. He scored an unbeaten match winning 70 the last time these two teams face. So you do have an option there. We've got another uh, philosophy, another ideology uh, to making your team. That's a slightly high risk uh, ideology and Shrishta has his high risk fantasy 11 for us. Let's take it. Well, my high risk 11 for this game is not quite different from your recommended 11 and that's because Hyderabad are still quite favourites to win this game. But the one change at the top which I've made is I've removed uh, Johnny Bairstow and I've gotten Rahul Tripathi. The reason for that is Johnny Bairstow struggled with the incoming ball and Pat Cummins dismissed him for quite cheaply in the last game and he struggled against balls that come into the body. And so I don't think he'll do as well. The second change I've done is I've removed Shubman Gill. He's blown a bit hot and cold over the last few games and I've gotten Pat Cummins who has shown that he can bat and get a lot, of, get you a lot of points and can bowling get you a lot of wickets as well. And the third change I've done is I've gotten Varun Chakravarti, the spinner, instead of Shivam Mavi. The thing is, Shivam Mavi might not even play the game and Varun Chakravarti is the definite starter, so I've gone with the spin option. I've, ch- I've made a change in the captain and vice captain as well. I've made Rashid Khan the captain uh, because as the pitches are getting slower, spinners will play a bigger role and Rashid Khan is very successful against the KKR top order, as so the numbers say. And the vice captain's choice, I've gone for Kane Williamson. Uh, and the reason for that is Kane's been reliable. He's come in at number four and he's sort of steadied the ship every time Hyderabad have needed him. So I think he'll do the same against Kolkata. So you've got three routes to go. One is our recommended 11. You heard from Tom Moody as well and you saw the high risk 11. So think of all of that and get the best possible team ready for yourselves and win lots and lots of prizes. For now, thanks so much Tom Moody for joining us on My 11 Circle Fantasy Pick on ESPN Info.